Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've had to bribe Wilma over here with an apple. But today's video is all about this gorgeous new girly. So I know you guys have been super keen to know exactly what I've been get getting up to with her. So I thought I would do a week in the life of Wilma video. So this is, isn't the first week that I had her, but obviously she's only been here for what, like, maybe nearly three weeks now are you struggling with that apple it was half eaten from me but i thought it'd be quite cool to just show you guys what i've gotten up to for like a typical week of owning a new horse because obviously we're just getting to know each other i'm trying to see how she reacts in different situations and also just gauge her sort of level of training and her attitude towards things her attitude at the minute is that YouTube is not a vibe, but <laughs> that's fine because there's gonna be plenty more Wilma coming in this video. Before we get started, I do want to quickly do a massive thank you to the sponsor of this video. And don't go anywhere guys, because this is one of my most requested brands to get a discount code from, and they have some epic sales coming up. So today's sponsor of this video is the wonderful AirUp. You guys know that I've been working with AirUp for over a year now and just absolutely loving it. For anyone that doesn't know what AirUp is, this is the scent-based flavoring bottle. So this little pod here, I've got a cherry one on at the minute. Very simple, you pull it up and then it's really clever. It creates a kind of slip stream. So as you suck through the straw in the bottle, the pod, which is very strong smelling, actually creates a sense of flavor when you're drinking it, but it is just water inside this bottle. Blows my mind every time. She's having a little roll there. <laughs> Bless her, enjoying her time in the field. But as I said, there are some mega, mega sales on. So they're currently doing a Black Friday sale and it ends on the 27th. So you've only got like three or four days when you're watching this to make the most of it. And the more you spend, the more you save. Now, obviously Christmas is fast approaching and these are the best Christmas presents because it suits everyone, because everyone needs to drink more water. I'll leave a little link down below for you guys so you can head over to their website, treat your loved ones or just treat yourself. I've currently got the smaller version of the stainless steel bottle. I kind of like this for day to day around the yard. Also love that I can fill this up with the yard tap because realistically, I do that so often, even though the house is just inside, I get really lazy. But because I've got the pod on, it makes the yard water taste a little bit less kind of stale and and hose tap like. You'll probably see either this or the larger version of this crop up throughout this video because it's pretty much always attached to me as I need to drink so much water to prevent my migraines. But we should all be drinking more and air up is the perfect way to persuade us to do so because it's fun and actually tastes nice. So a big thank you to air up for sponsoring this video. Let's get in to Monday, which was my first ever outing with Wilma. We took her over to Emily Musto's yard to have a little lesson. It's also just got a bit of a cherry flavor here quickly. Oh, blows my mind every single time. Science, honestly, should try it sometimes guys. Okay, so Monday, we are starting the week strong by going off for a lesson with my friend Emily. And look at that guys, straight onto the box. M meet Wilma. Very cute little Wilma. Cutie little Wilma. So she's TB Connie Cross. She's six. She's not done loads, but she's had a really nice, like the people she's just been with have done a really good job nice of her. Nice start in life. Really nice start. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this nice. is our blank canvas to make into potentially <laughs> A novice horse, but realistically... My task is set out. <laughs> maybe, I think, do you know what? I think my new aim is actually one star as opposed to novice. Yeah, well, to be fair, I'd say to jump round a one star, you want to be thinking about going novice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think if you jump round a one star, I'd be like, you could easily You could probably get a novice, novice now. Novice, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think I've got plenty of time. She's already got, I already like her brain to start with. Yeah, I was going to say, she's already had yeah, a little she, walk I mean, she's come here, here isn't she? And she's chilled and she's, you know, she's not screaming her head off and not worried yeah. about it, given how many times they screamed at her. Um, no, I like her. She's very sweet and she's bae. 
I know. So you have a go at me for buying bay horses all the yeah, time. Yeah, I'm allowed a bay Join horse. Join the club. Mine are all grey. I've got one grey one. <laughs> <laughs> a token grey. No, she's nice. I like her. She's got a nice attitude. She's Hopefully she inherits the Connie brain and the thoroughbred exactly. athletic ability. Exactly. That's your hope when they breed them like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll have a look. Come on, you. She's like, oh god, I'm knackered already. <laughs> she's got a, she's got a lovely hind leg, um, a powerful hind leg as well. Yeah. The thoroughbred hind leg is what she's got. Um, yeah. Which will give you a great time cross country, but she just needs to build up the the top line with it. You know. Yeah. But that's gonna. To be fair, she doesn't look bad. Like I've seen an awful lot worse her age and thought, oh lord, we've got a long way to go. Yeah. She's actually forming the right way already. You don't have to kind of rip her apart and go, no, don't want that bit, don't want that bit, and then put her back together again. You've yeah. just got to continue what they've already been doing. Um, and she's got a lovely, willing, learning brain, which she massively has. helps yeah, you no, she as really well. Has. Good girl, good. yeah, good girl. Okay, go up to the top, Megan. Go over the skinny ones across the top. Okay. That's it. <laughs> She's all goodness. She's off as a pole. <laughs> That's it. Good girl. She moves nice. I do like the she way does, she moves. She does, doesn't she? Yeah, she moves without being over. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, she's exactly. Much, like, I think she'll do very around. well in dressage. Yeah. Good girl, that's it. Right, your corner. That's it. Channel Sorry, between. Darling. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. And you'll get used to it. You feel that little wobble in front? Yeah. That's just young horses. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where, like, start basic, uh, you know, skinny poles like that, yeah. off a tight turn, and she's got to trust your hand to your leg. Your hand yeah. To your leg. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's got to stay there, not be like, oh, like, if your hand and leg hadn't been there, then she just would have been down. Yeah. yeah. But you went, you did the right thing, and you went, look, forward, over them, and you saw her little face go, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It's just starting really simple with them. I think it's so easy. Like, when you go and spend money on a horse and you bring it home and you want to go, oh, let's go and do everything. Let's yeah. go and challenge. And it's like, no, let's not do that. Because while people have been trying this horse, she's probably been challenged enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's probably done enough in the last few weeks. <laughs> so, I think it's time, like, now to. Be, I think doing things like this is how you build a bond with her. Oh, 100%. Yeah? 100%. Um, and I'd say up until Christmas, this is the type of thing you want to be doing. Yeah. And Christmas, maybe do a little bit more jumping nothing big but just maybe some grids and stuff like that and build that bond up there yeah and, you know just and then when you're ready to go out for a little look at some cross-country fences and you go out and do that there's no rush and there's no, no pressure yeah you because know? no. I think that's the worst the one thing I don't want you to feel with this horse is oh my god what pressure have I got because you know I've gone out and bought it and everyone knows I have and want to get it out and everyone's going to want to do fancy things on it no yeah. It's your horse. You enjoy it the way yeah. you enjoy no, 100%. it. Yeah, hundred percent. Because if you if you break the trust now, oh god, yeah, it's so it's hard, hard to get, get back. back. Yeah. yeah. I want to just see how she reacts for me more than anything. I just want to see how she <laughs> copes with it. Believe it or not, the meltdowns some of my horse have had. Over <laughs> I like, mean, it is. Yeah, it is quite <laughs> it's weird like looking. Just trot straight. They're like chevron. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's what I call them, yeah. chevrons. I try and help them with the poles, but uh, the poles, the flags. Yeah. But. Hey, um, so what I want you to do is start. The circuit I usually do is the planks on the floor over there on uh -huh. the turn, up through the chevrons, then over the skinny poles, then down over the zigzags. Okay. Yeah? And then you can say, if she does that well first time, then you change the rein and you go the other way. Okay. Point first. Just give it a go. The point she's going to happen is she's just going to go over one side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all that happens. But it's just amazing how some horses cannot get their heads around yeah. it. It's, but if she can't, then we'll just do the chevrons on the road until she does. Okay. You know, no big deal. 
Just keep your shoulders back over the planks because you could well go like, ooh, it's colourful. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <sighs> She's it. so genuine though, yeah, I love yeah. it. That's it. Good girl. Woo! Very good. That's the skinny poles. <laughs> Channel. Channel. Good girl. Now look to your zigzags. Ride these exactly like you just rode those chevrons. Like they're just normal poles. It's okay, good girl. That's pretty good, good. first attempt. Keep going on that circuit, Meg, once more that way. <laughs> Good, yeah, good girl. Well done. Channel her straight, channel her straight. Just normal poles to get the points of there. Good. Yeah, then over the skinny ones. Yeah, beautiful. Just channel her straight. Think of this like an arrowhead. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Okay, change the reg, Meg. Ch change the reg. Change the rain, man. <laughs> Do you know what? I did actually get that with amongst all the weird noises. I was like, she means change the rain. <laughs> You're getting used to me. <laughs> good girl. So good when she like drops her neck and yeah, lifts her legs. Yeah, that's she's it? using her back, which yeah, is what exactly. this is designed for. Good. Yeah, good girl. And then look to channel here. That's it. Good girl, look to your flags. And just channel straight like an arrowhead. Channel straight like an arrowhead. Yeah, not bad. Not to be too fair. bad. One more circuit, Meg, <laughs> and then she can come to the walk. That was actually pretty good for her first time. I was quite impressed with that. <laughs> good. Most horses are really confused by it. Good girl. Good. And channel straight here. That's it. Good girl. Look to your flags and just channel straight. This is your arrowhead. Shoulders up. Yeah, good girl. Throw the flags and then you can walk and give her a big pat. Good girl. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm impressed with That's that. That's told me some quite positive things about her. Yeah. So she's quite... You know, those planks always catch horses out because the light, you look, look at them now, so the light yeah. shine off them and they usually come in and go, oh my God, what's that on the floor? Yeah. And bless her, but that's, you know, she just kept going for you and she's been pretty straight for a young yeah. horse through them and through them as yeah. well. Um, you know, she's if she has a tiny wobble in her body in front of something, she's still, she, you go, no, go, and she still goes. She yeah. doesn't go, ooh, God, yeah. mum's kicked me. Um, you know, some of them, if they're wobbling and you go, no, go that way, like, ooh, yeah. can't do it. Yeah. Um, but no, she's she's very rational. Yes. And that is got very lovely, handy, for tra especially brain. as a mare, that's yeah. very handy for training. Yeah. <laughs> but I think she's very sweet. I look forward to playing with her over the winter. You're a good girl. Um, I don't think we'll push Can to work today because she's she's, had, she's a, pooped. She had a lot to do, hasn't she? Bless yeah. her. Had all sorts of people grabbing at her and doing things with her. So good um, girl, Wilma. I think she's yeah. I think she's very sweet. I I like her a lot. Yay! Um. <laughs> We've got the approval. That thing about bringing a new horse over. There's so many people. Yeah, I need but to get... I think God, what Emily hates it. What are we yeah. gonna do? No, to be fair, there's not a lot of horses that I hate. If they're difficult, I like them as a project, but you're just going to be fun. Yeah, she says I'm She's just going to be fun to difficult. introduce to the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie, has it been a long morning? She's just so cute. Join the club. <laughs> yeah. So a busy day for Wilma going to Emily's, but we've come back to a rather exciting parcel from the one and only Lemieux. So you'll notice the head collar she's wearing is one of their new ones in the color spruce. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've also been sent two rugs. You've got an indoor rug and an outdoor rug. She's literally so sleepy. So I thought we'd do a quick little try on session before you go off to bed, little Wilma Woo. Okay, first things first, we have got one of the Friction free bibs. You get it. Go on your lip. The old droopy lip. 
So I realise I'm doing a week in the life of Wilma and I've not actually said what her kind of routine is. So obviously when she arrived, if you watched that video, you'll know that we had to have her in overnight because it was fireworks night. So we've just kind of kept her on that routine. So she's in during the night and she is going out during the day. Right, okay, we're gonna start with the big dog, the outdoor, because obviously she's staying in now. So put this on first and then we'll put her stable rug on to spend the night. So this is the new Kudos Thermo Layer turnout rug from Lemure. These have literally just launched in like the last month or so, I'd say. And oh my word, there's like, a frenzy over them right now. Like I've struggled to get her size because they're just, everyone wants them. Oh Wilma, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, you ain't gonna be cold this winter. Look how smart it is. Oh my word. Okay. Yeah, so like the skirt bit, in fact I think that bottom bit is like zero grams just to keep it nice and light. And then all these nice little features like that elastic bit there. Oh yeah, this is smart. It's so smart. I feel like I don't need to do all the attaching of this yet because I don't actually need to use in it. But let's just show you what it will look like. <laughs> all done up. Oh, you're snug as a bug in a rug. Her lip is literally gone already. Cozy little thing, aren't you? <laughs> you a cozy pony. <laughs> Obviously, 300 gram for November. It's a little bit excessive. Although, I think with your the thoroughbred in you, you're probably going to need a bit more rugging than the rest of rest of the ponies. But yeah, this is my favourite bit. It's like these little, like how cute that little detailing is. It gives me like Christmassy vibes. So nice. And all of this is reflective. Yeah, look, even things like these straps that just kind of anchor from both ways that so gives you a better, better fit and hopefully you won't do that horrible thing when rugs slip back and you've got like a, you know when they slip back and you get like all of this kind of bunches together and it cinches. Oh, Wilma, woo, aren't you a lucky, lucky girl. And look, you got like little mud guard guys, a splash guard. Yeah, this is... This is very, very nice. Right, should we put your pajamas on, sleepy girl? So for her pajamas, they have sent the Erica Stable Rug. This is a 200 gram. So I decided to go for 200 because often in the depths of winter, I would like use this as an under rug or like I'd have like a thinner under neck rug and then put this over the top. So. I thought 200 would be good because then it gives me the option of layering. Right, okay, so this is gorgeous. You can see like that kind of material, a little bit wet resistant in case they roll it in a poo or something. And then this nice, like shiny, it's nice and lightweight, which I think is gonna be good for our little wither issue that we've got Wilma. And again, you can get necks for these. They've got all the detachable, attachable bits. So you get your own full wardrobe because you're bigger than everyone. Smart little rug, isn't it? Really nice. Happy pony. Thanks, Lemieux. We'll let you go to sleep now. Honestly, Wilma. Got the rest of the week and you already pooped. So it's Tuesday and Wilma was actually having this day off after her lesson. I thought she deserved it, but it was quite busy because we had the vet coming over. Don't stress guys, nothing wrong. She was just due her annual vaccinations. So it gave her a good check round and this is what Dan had to say about her. She seems really nice temperament-wise. Couldn't agree more with you there, Dan. So then it was time for her vaccination. You'll see I am armed with a carrot. So we always have a carrot, mostly because it is long, just to give it to them while they have the vaccination because it can be a bit pinchy and it tends to just distract them a little bit. You can see Wilma really wasn't that fussed. So then we go into the evening, which was Wilma's first ever physio appointment. 
which started by walking up and down the barn just to see how she was moving. Introducing Izzy from Westlake Physio. This is the first time I've actually been on the channel. Uh -huh. It is the first time. Hi everyone. You guys yeah. might actually know Izzy because she is former. I'm a former. And current. You're not even oh, former yeah, well, anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, only for fun though. I'm no professional YouTuber. I, well, well no, that's, she's a professional physio. Yeah, she's actually yeah. got a proper job. Um, <laughs> but I'll leave her channel link in the description. Anyway, so we're having a bit of a... Just sort feeling of, her all over. Exactly. So far, I, she's got lovely buttery muscles. Lovely buttery muscles, guys. Can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> no. Because no, muscles. No. That's, she, that, could be her, that could be her um, little motto, couldn't that? <laughs> <laughs> we are the... <laughs> Why do you always say that? Honestly. <laughs> Jeanette, please. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we'll um, we'll let Izzy do her job and then we'll, we'll, have, yeah, we'll have a brief debrief. Have a little debrief. So Izzy quickly got to work, feeling warm all over. As you just heard, she's got lovely feeling muscles. So she's definitely been very, very well looked after. We just did a tiny bit of ultrasounding here on her back. She had a little bit of tension, but Wilma was absolutely loving this. I mean, it's certainly going to have to be a regular appointment for her just because of how much she enjoyed it. Oh, she looks like she's enjoying that. There she is. I love her little brown bits around her eyes. Me too. I think she's like technically brown. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, well, I, I'm not very good at Kelly's worth in. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, you will say how kinky it is. Black. No, I don't think she is, Ooh. Mum. I think her. Look at <laughs> Hello, Hobbs. I think her. <laughs> I think her dad is ah, buckskin. She. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't get over. You look a bit like a mole with like your little it's like it's claws. Hard. Yeah, it is. You look quite cute, actually. Maybe Not we should get her colour tested. I think so. Because she's down with brood mare. Her set. passport says she's brown. Okay. Yeah. Do smoky blacks have the brown points though? Like that's the thing that makes the. You'll be a bit. I don't know, they don't teach us about colours, oh. unfortunately. So, little Wilma mm. is a little bit special. She feels very, very good. Yay. Some little minor, minor areas of tension that we had to sort out. Oh. Oh, she says do it again. Um, <laughs> but no, we'll just keep an eye on how she feels as the workload increases. She yeah. just needs to develop her quads and her glutes a little bit more. Hamstrings are a little bit little bit tight and overworked at the moment, aren't they, Sausage? Need to build up that booty. Build up that booty. Um, but her muscles just feel amazing. She just feels like really happy in her yeah. body. And obviously Meg is the rehab queen now, so she'll be... <laughs> Prehab is better than rehab. Oh, God. New motto. New motto. Print that on a bumper sticker. <laughs> Yeah, guys, prehab is better than rehab. Exactly, so. right. So pole work. Pole work. All of my homework. Pole stretches, all of the homework. Lots of massage. I'll keep an eye on how she's feeling. Yay. And, um, you know, she's hopefully going places, this gal. Exactly. So we just Slow and sure steady wins the race. Definitely, yeah. And I'm super yeah. excited. So happy for you. Yay. Oh, well, thank you for I think her. she is. I think she is perfect Alpha event ponies. I think she is as well. Um, type. She says, I'm just very tired. Sorry, guys. Because I'm actually the most chilled one here. Right? You are. Little cutie. Oh, thanks, Izzy. No worries. Ooh. Good girl. Happy hump day everybody, it is Wednesday and I wanted to just take Wilma on a very chilled, loose, nice hack today after she's had her physio and her vet appointment the day before, I figured she just needs a bit of a leg stretch. So we headed off by ourselves, I need to apologise in advance, I don't know what's going on with my GoPro, but it is really misbehaving. But I wanted to quickly take the time to say about hacking new horses. So. I'm a strong believer that they learn so much out hacking. Although I'm not blessed with good off-road hacking, the roads are really nice and quiet and little, and we do have a lot of hill work. So it's been really nice taking Wilma out by herself and just building that relationship together. I've been really lucky that she is such a sweet, genuine horse, and she's got such great manners that Whenever she spooks, her first reaction is to just slow down or stop. She's not like a spinny or a 
bronchy or reary kind of horse which is just lovely but it's really nice to overcome like these really tiny little hurdles like here where she's having a little spook and she's not sure and I can just encourage her on with my voice and then we're building that relationship so I feel like further down the line when we're going cross country she's gonna know that when I say keep going she'll know that it's safe to do so okay it's Thursday can you guess what we're doing I have set up a grid um, but to be fair I feel like this is quite a good way to actually start them so I've obviously got it as canter poles now and then I'm just gonna have I mean I've got the option of a little ox here um, who knows a cross pole or an upright there I've then got my little trot poles I'm very very slowly starting to raise them with my um, poly jump cavalettis literally it's like two inches off of the floor but I just want her to get her head around raised poles and then I have got a little warm-up fence here okay so the first ever jump with Wilma at home now I am gonna preface this by saying I made a pretty big mistake this day so obviously Wilma had had her vaccination a couple of days before and it's really difficult with new horses because you never know how they're going to react. And in hindsight, knowing her way better now than I did back then, and just seeing how she's going and how she felt on the day, I really think that the vaccination just completely took it out of her and actually made her feel a little bit poorly, like it can with us. We've had it the same with Dee. When she has her vaccinations, she practically has to have like nearly a week off because it really takes it out of her. So I wasn't really thinking about that when I was going out to do this session because I was just so excited to get going. But you'll just notice she's a little bit lacklustre compared to her normal self. So yeah, just bear that in mind as we go through things. So I started by warming up obviously and then went over our canter poles. I was actually really pleased with how she figured out her feet that first time through because we got a little bit muddled. But she just kept going in a really nice rhythm. And then a little pop over a cross pole. Again, she's just being so genuine and so sweet, despite not feeling 100% and probably still being pretty tired from the move. She was just so honest and came and popped around everything absolutely fine. So I could definitely feel that she was just a little bit more kind of chilled and a, bit, a little bit flat almost. And she definitely definitely isn't like that and that's not how she felt in Ireland so I decided that there wasn't really much point building the fences up or over facing her or anything like that so we literally just played over these tiny little fences and got her used to figuring out her feet and just jumping at home to be honest and then yeah decided to call it a day and come back out another day when she was feeling a bit better Hope you enjoyed the carrot ASMR there guys. So it's Friday and after the session the day before I decided it was probably a good idea to give Wilma another day off just to let her kind of recover from the jab and get back to normal. So I did her carrot stretches with her. These are physio recommended. We do them with all of our horses. I'd love to say that they do them every single day but it's just not possible. But we try to do them at least three times a week and then anything on top of that is a bonus to be honest. But I felt it was important to include all of this in the video to be honest guys because we're trying to just figure out the normal of our new horses. So knowing that the jab made her a little bit under the weather is great information going forward for next time she has a vaccination. So yeah, wanted to include it and just show that it's okay to have more chilled days during the week. On the subject of chill days, I thought that Saturday would be good for Wilma to just go on another little hack, go for a walk out and I can gauge how she was feeling. And I was very pleased to report that she was feeling a lot, a lot better due to the dodgy GoPro. I've not got any footage of that, but I have got some adorable footage of her bonding with Ari and Etty. So currently they're in neighboring fields, but potentially we're thinking that they might be all kind of paired up and be a little three because they just get on so well also Ari and Wilma have 
basically got matching faces, which is so cute. End of the week. We are ending the week as we started it with pole work. So I thought I'd quickly, before we grab Wilma, show you guys what I've set up. So here I have got my walking poles. Now between you and me, I have done walk poles with Wilma before. So I had them all unraised to start with, but she's actually improving really quickly. So I have got two of them raised at the minute, alternate ones. I'll probably just keep the two of them raised for this session. Obviously I'll work on eventually having them all raised. I'm using my poly jump cavalettis. I have got them, I mean, they're like an inch off the floor here. But the reason I use these even for the non-raised ones is that it prevents like if she kicks them, they don't move as much. So it means I don't have to keep getting off if I've not got any help or if Grant Lens Media is not very good at putting them back where they're meant to be. Okay, so then up here, I have just got one random pole. So I'm all, I'm basing this on a very early session I had with woman that wasn't actually on camera, but I kind of realized in that session and it kind of was more clear to me when I did the jumping earlier in the week that she actually struggles to kind of shorten and lengthen her canter. She is obviously still very green despite being six. She's not really a baby, but she's kind of got the mileage of a four slash five year old, I think. Anyway, so she, she struggles to shorten and lengthen her canter. So I figured having just one pole to canter over is actually a better start. And then I've got my canter poles up here. The reason I've got them on the short side is because then I can do it like on a bit of a circle, a bit of a curve. So if I walk it here, it's one, two and a half. Walk it here, it's three strides. And here it's three and a half. So it just means that just having two poles, you can actually do quite a lot of different canters with it. And I can just, I can play around if she's finding them too short or too long. I know just to aim in a different spot. These are placed very strategically. So I've left this bit clear because to go with my not being able to shorten and lengthen canter very well, I'm doing the exercise where you do like a 15 meter circle here in a more collected canter, then lengthen along the wrong size. And then the other end you do a 15 meter circle. So I had to keep this bit free to canter through. It's just a really, good exercise when they struggle to actually like process what you're asking them because it's like a different thing that you're asking doing the circles makes it a lot clearer for them I find and then obviously you can use the long sides to like almost exaggerate what you want from the long canter um, so yeah I feel like it makes it a bit clearer it's a bit more black and white because you can kind of do an exaggerated version each end and then last but not least I have got my trot poles here again she's already done <laughs> trot poles you guys know that I'm absolutely mad for poles um, but I'm starting with just the middle one raised we'll go through that a number of times and then hopefully we'll build up some other ones she's not ready mentally or physically to do them all raised it's such a lot of work for them but this is definitely a really good start for her and yeah I just like having it like kind of in the middle or at least not the first one because I feel like if it's the first one you're almost setting them up to fail so this is almost like placing poles to the raised pole anyway we'll go and grab Wilma in and then I'll meet you back in the arena for our final session of the week can we just appreciate the Lemire spruce color on her if you guys saw I did a um, unboxing on my Instagram the day before I announced her and said that this colour would be a giveaway because it looks so good on her. And I stand by it. I think it looks epic. Just back and forth over them. Good. So I quite like that because she actually thought more about her feet. So I love walk poles because it's so down to them. Like there's nothing I can do adjustment wise up here. It's very much her using her body and thinking where she's placing each foot. Definitely better to include some walk trot transitions. Because obviously we want to do lots of that when we're at home training. 
That a go. Good. And then I trot up over my trot poles here. Oh, good. Turn. I could have done a slightly better. Um, could have placed these better for this exercise, but you know, it's good. What more do you want? Good girl. You see already, I'm seeing improvements. I just honestly, guys, I just love pole work. That a girl. Ooh, you didn't think about my turn. And then we can repeat that the other way. See already, like she's not clonking those poles now. Need to do more trot canter trot transitions right so i'm going to start with my lengthening and shortening exercise this looks messy guys but it's not always gonna look pretty at home oh well done guys honestly i'm seeing the improvement in this as well lengthen that canter good she's gonna have such a good gallop and then 50 meter circle makes it up Come on. See there, good girl, that's all right. And it's all right that it's looking really messy and that this 15 metre circle is very kind of slapdash. It's not a collected canter by any means, but just that first turn is helping her get that hind leg underneath her. So I've done my canter, my length and canter circle exercise on this rein but I now want to quickly before we completely lose the light use my canter poles um, yeah as I said we, we're struggling to do the kind of lengthen and shorten so I think having the single pole is actually going to be really helpful good girl so I'll just get our canter a bit more established and this was the other thing because I was racking my brains I was like why was it easier to ride her in Ireland and obviously she was being beautifully schooled there by the IDEO people but we were also in the gorgeous big arena which is just so much easier well done that's all right okay I'm gonna take her to my duo of poles because I can just can feel her getting tired and I don't want to set her up to fail so let's just do it Well done. So this is like, it's going to be how we end up strengthening this canter. But you can see she just gets pooped now. Let's do the grand finale. Ooh. Oh, good, Wilma. Good girl. It's all a bit slapdash. Concentrate. Good girl. A week in the life of Wilma, over and out. <laughs> so yeah, as I said at the beginning of this vlog, at least I hope I said it, this is kind of a bit of a assessment week. It wasn't the first week of owning her, but like it was within, within the first two weeks of owning her that we started this. Um, and I feel like I've learned a great deal about her actually. From, from this week of work. We've done loads of stuff. We've done a little bit of jumping. In hindsight, I think that was probably a bit premature. I probably didn't need to come out and jump her that day, but I wanted to see where we were kind of at. And, you know, that has, is what really has inspired doing work like this. Obviously, we took her to M's, so I had a little lesson on her. She's had her physio. It's been quite a busy week for you, Wilma Woo. 
but it's the start of many here at Elphick Event Ponies HQ. So big thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and do let me know down below uh, what you enjoyed, what you want to see more of, because I feel like I've shown quite a variety. Like, do you like these kind of sessions where it's just me talking through things and going over my own little exercises that I've decided to do with her? Leave it all in the comments for what you want to see with gorgeous Wilma. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. I live, laugh, love you, and I'll see you very, very soon. Should we go and get you some supper? I think so. Bye. You could go. <laughs> you picked a very good one there. Very good one. See, I can do some stuff, if, right? If I thought you picked an idiot, I'd be like, Pete, stop filming. You've picked an idiot.